viewers, welcome back once more to the GC panel online. In this particular presentation, we are looking at the solution of June 2023, Pure Math Statistics Paper 3 Advanced Level, question number 5. 2023, Pure Math Statistics Paper 3, question 5. Please make sure you watch this video to the end, and if you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so that you will enjoy from all the other benefits and all the other content we are uploading on this channel. Stay tuned. So once more, welcome to our channel. And if you have not subscribed, please just use five seconds of your time to click on that subscription button below this video and the notifications so that whenever you upload a new video, you'll be automatically informed or notified. Now let's tackle question five of June 2023, Pure Math Statistics Paper 3, Question 5. A continuous random variable x has probability density function f defined by f of x equals 1 over 16x into kx plus 12 for 0 to 2 and 0 elsewhere. Find a, the value of the constant k. B, the mean of x, C, the variance of x. Show that the median of x satisfies the equation m cubed minus 6m squared plus 8 equals 0. Okay? So when you have a question like this, my dear friends, trash all the points. If you have not yet subscribed, please click on that subscription button now. That is what's going to motivate us to make more videos. Without that, we will not continue to make videos because it will, it will show that you are not interested in the videos we are making. So we have been given this probability density function and they want us to find the value of k. We know that for a probability density function, the integral from the lowest value, that's from 0 to 2, of f of x dx is equal to 1. Okay? So integral from 0 to 2 of 1 over 16 uh, x into kx plus 12 dx is equal to 1. So with this integral, we can bring out this 1 over 16 since the constant. So into the integral of, we expand this with the x that is here. We have kx squared plus 12x dx. The integral of that should give us 1. So we have 16. When we integrate kx squared, we have kx cubed on 3. Integrate 12x, we have 6x squared. That is 12x squared on 2, which is 6x squared. And what are the limits from 0 to 2? We now take upper limit minus lower limit. That's going to give us uh, 2 cubed, which is 8 times k. So we have k times 8, 8k over 3 plus uh, 2 squared is 4 times 6, 24. So we have 1 over 16 into 8 over 3k plus 24. All of that should give us 1 when we uh, integrate. So we multiply all through by um, 16. We are going to have 8 over 3k to be equal to 16 minus 24. So from here we make uh, k the subject of the formula. We are going to have k to be equal to negative 3. Now the next thing that they want us to find is the expectation or the mean. And we know that for a probability density function like this, to find the expectation of the mean, it is the integral from negative infinity to plus infinity of x times f of x dx. Okay? But in this case, our limits are defined. It's only from 0 to 2. So we are going to be replacing negative infinity and positive infinity respectively by 0 and 2. So we have 1 over 16 in the, uh, the integral from 0 to 2 of x. We are going to multiply x, right? And this is our f of x. f of x is negative 3x squared plus 12x, okay? We multiply by that by x. We expand. We are going to have 1 over 16 into this integral, and uh, negative 3x cubed uh, plus 12x squared dx. So from here, just like previously, we have 1 over 16 into uh, negative 3x uh, cubed. When you integrate that, you're going to have negative 3x squared, uh, x to the power 4 on 4, sorry. When you integrate 12x squared, you're going to have 12x cubed on 2, on 3 rather, 12x cubed on 3, which is equal to 4x cubed. And the limits are from 0 to 2. So taking upper limits minus lower, uh, minus lower limits, uh, that is going to give us uh, 5 on 4. Know that here we replace this uh, value of k. We are looking for k, right? When we had our k to be negative 3, we replace it here. Which therefore means that if you failed in having your a, your k in the first part, this is how you continue to fail in this type of questions. Be very careful with this type of uh, questions, okay? 
If I'm very fast, you can go to your YouTube settings and you reduce the speed, okay? Maybe to 0 0.75. Now, the next thing is to find uh, the um, variance. So the variance defined equally as the integral from negative infinity to plus infinity of x minus mu squared times f of x dx, okay? So here we are introducing from 0 to 2 of x minus 5 and 4 squared times our f of x, f of x negative 3x squared plus 12x dx. So we expand this expression, we're going to have 1 over 16 into the integral from 0 to 2 of x squared minus 5 on 2x plus 25 on 16 into all of these. There are other methods you can use, but I've used this one here. So when we simplify all of this, this is the result we are going to have. And when we integrate this, we are going to have uh, negative 3x to the power 5 on 5 minus 39x to the power 4 on 8 plus 555x cubed on 48 plus 75 over 8x squared. And we take the limits from 0 to 2. And you take those limits and you simplify, your result will be 1 over 16 into minus 96 on 5 minus 78 plus 555 on 6 plus 75 on 2, which is equal to 2.05. That gives us 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. Okay. Now, my dear friends, the last part of the question wants us to prove that. wants us to prove that the mean satisfies a given equation. So we are going to find the mean. How do we find the mean of a probability density function? The mean is defined as the integral from negative infinity to m, where m is the median of f of x dx equals a half. Or you can use uh, the integral from m to plus infinity is equal to a half. Okay? Any of them that you use will give you the same answer. So let's take from negative infinity to m of f of x dx to be equal to a half. So f of x is first of all negative 3x squared plus 12x uh, dx from 0 to m. All of that should give us a half. When we integrate this, we are going to have 1 over 16 into uh, negative 3x cubed on 3, which is negative x cubed, plus 12x squared on 2, which is 6x squared. And this integral, taking the upper limit minus lower limit, uh, that should give us a half. Okay? So here we are taking from um, negative infinity to m okay but now we cannot take negative infinity to m because our limit is defined right we have either from 0 to m or from m to 2 remember that, that uh, that's what was given in the equation so instead of taking negative infinity to m we're not taking by 0 to m okay or we can take from m to 2 which is the upper bound that's why i've replaced negative infinity here by uh, 0. so here this is going to give us um, 1 over 16 into negative 3 m cubed plus 6m squared, okay? All of that should be equal to a half. Multiply all through by 16, you have negative 3m cubed plus 6m squared to be equal to 8. And when you bring like terms together, <coughs> you're going to have 3m cubed minus 6m plus 8 equals 0 as required. Thank you guys so much and make sure you subscribe so that you can have uh, you can enjoy the best that is still to come for this channel. The next question is question 6. Please make sure you subscribe and share. Thank you so much. Ciao.